Hey, uh, have you guys started studying for the history test on Monday? We have a test? You didn't know? It's on the Constitution and amendments and stuff. We went over it in class. I've started studying, and it's a lot to review. I, I can never remember which state ratified it last. It was Rhode Island. We also have to know all the founding fathers. There was one other guy, right? Willard David? Who was he? My name is William Richardson Davy. I was raised in the small town of Charlotte. I went to college at Queens College in Charlotte and then at Princeton in New Jersey in 1776 and 1777. Later, I became a lawyer and had some adventures during the Revolution, including being wounded. I was in charge of the North Carolina Cavalry when General Cornwallis led his British troops up through Charlotte on his way to Salisbury. After the war, I moved to Halifax, North Carolina, where I married, practiced law, and was elected to the North Carolina Assembly. The year 1787 was an interesting one for me. In the Assembly, I introduced a bill to form a university. We established that university at Chapel Hill, and it has been a hallmark of my life ever since. I have dedicated myself to the university a great deal over the years, and today I'm proud to say that the university has awarded me an honorary Doctor of Laws degree, and they're beginning to call me the father of the university. In that same year, I was appointed to the Constitutional Convention in Philadelphia, where we invented an entirely new form of government. Of all of the things that I have done in my life, that is the one I'm most proud of. In 1799, I was uh, elected governor of North Carolina. Less than a year after that, I resigned as governor to serve as a minister to the court at Paris, where I negotiated a peace treaty with Napoleon Bonaparte. Now I'm retired, living on my plantation in South Carolina, but I keep an active interest in my state, my country, and my university. Hey, is this guy part of the game? It's probably a new feature or something. Let's just keep playing. Whoa, hey, you hear this? One. That's not fair, this game is too hard. A game? This is where the battle was fought in the American Revolution, and I was there. It was September of 1780. The British Army had captured all of Georgia and captured all of South Carolina and were moving up the Catawba River Valley to go through Charlotte to Salisbury to capture North Carolina. The American Army moved back past Mallard Creek to an encampment to see what the British would do. I had my cavalry company of 150 men and 50 more men from the Mecklenburg Militia and we were determined to take a stand. We were outnumbered 10 to 1 and could not hope to prevail, but resolved to give Lord Cornwallis and the British Army a taste of what they would get when they disturbed a hornet's nest. The Mecklenburg County Courthouse was a single room frame building on 10-foot brick pillars located in the center of the intersection of Trade and Tryon Streets. We stood behind that building and waited to see what would happen. The British came up South Tryon Street on horseback, led by the British Legion of Bannister Tarleton. As they moved forward, they saw nothing. They heard nothing. As they reached the courthouse, we stepped out and gave them a volley of musket and rifle fire. We killed a few and wounded many, and they retreated back down Tryon Street. They reformed and came forward again. We gave them another volley. They came forward a third time. We gave them another volley, setting them back. We rode our horses north up the Salisbury Road with the British Legion hot on our heels. They caught up with us at Sugar Creek Church and we took some casualties before escaping to the American lines. It was a bitter fight. They killed two of my men and wounded a number, but most of us got away across Mallard Creek and the British Legion retired to Charlotte. But we gave Lord Cornwallis and the British Legion something to think about. 
Well, that was better than the textbook. Should we know when North Carolina had ratified the Constitution? I think we were second to last because we wanted to wait for a Bill of Rights. I think. Yeah, the Anti-Federalists wanted a Bill of Rights, and the Federalists believed that the Constitution was perfect the way it was written. Uh, hey, Mr. Davey, weren't you at the Constitutional Convention? Yes, I was a delegate to the Constitutional Convention. It was May of 1787, and we met in Philadelphia, and we invented an entirely new form of government that had never been seen before. Not a monarchy where the king held all the power, but a republic where the power resided in the people. Something that had never been seen in the history of the world. I took part in the debates and gave a notable address on the composition of the Senate that broke a deadlock that threatened to destroy the Constitution. There were to be two houses in Congress and the larger states wanted to have the membership of both of those based on the population. The smaller states wanted to have equal representation, one or two members from each state, for they knew that if both houses were based on population, then the larger states would have control over both of them. The smaller states would have no say. There would be a tyranny of the majority, and they wouldn't stand for it and they would dissolve the Union rather than to have that. I suggested a compromise with equal representation in the Senate, and in the end, that idea was adopted. It came to be called the Great Compromise, and it saved the Union. The work was not over. The Constitution had to be written, debated, and voted on. But I had business to do in North Carolina, and I did not stay around for either the vote or to sign the Constitution. By 1789, those things had been passed, and the Union was whole as a republic. Well, that was interesting. Hey, isn't there a, a soccer park named after William R. Davey? What is soccer? It's, it's a, a game. game! Yeah, it's on Highway 51. He really did answer a lot of our questions today. He sure did. I mean, I didn't know all that stuff about the Battle of Charlotte and the Constitutional Convention. I learned a lot about that too. This will become really handy on our test. Thanks, Colonel Davy, for everything. Your most humble and obedient servant. Yeah, that's great, but how did he get here?